Jack, is that your girlfriend? <laughs> hey, get out of there. Come on. Loose, come here. Oh. This is Lucy. Jack, there's Jack. I think I've showed these before, but these are just kind of the uh, vitamins and stuff that I take pretty much each day. Just the basics. Vitamin C, vitamin D3, especially up here in Washington where long winters, uh, zinc, uh, biotin just for like hair, skin, nail health, all that stuff, and then obviously like fish oil and stuff for the joints. Don't give me crap about the uh, Kirkland Signature brand. <laughs> People's like, that stuff's junk, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Kirkland Signature fish oil junk or spend some more and get something better quality? So. Anyways, as you can see, I like going to Costco for, for vitamins. I just get the zinc and the biotin at Walmart, so. Favorite coffee creamer? Hazelnut sugar free. But I tell you, if you have a Safeway near you, this one is by far the best. It's just like Safeway Lucerne brand. I might have showed those before, but it's like a thicker, better coffee creamer. So I personally do two, two tablespoons this is the sugar-free one, so it only has like, I think one gram of fat, one carb per serving. So I personally just do two tablespoons and then I do like a little bit of a uh, stevia packet. So that's how I do my coffee every morning. Mix it up. I usually have like one to two of these every morning. Got my usual breakfast slash pre-workout meal today. It is Saturday, March, uh, what, 20th now? And yeah, no, sorry, the 19th. And got four whole eggs, two servings Kodiak cakes, uh, just a quarter serving of some Justin's almond butter. And I think only I use like an ounce of, I don't use much syrup of my low calorie uh, pancake syrup, so. Got my boy Travis. Don't mind the receiver. <laughs> back at uh, we got him to go. We got him to join Gold's gym last night, so he's back officially as a Gold's fact. member. So, so now he can now he can get in uh, workouts with his boy here. So we're gonna try to transform him for the next couple months. Try to make him go from shit to fit in summertime. <laughs> Yeah, hit some of your hammies and stuff too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You gotta really make sure you like you. But like sometimes, yeah, like like just like that. Just like that. Can you get your right one then? There you go. Make sure you contract your right one too. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can really get that fucking left one. Yeah. Is it the one that you spike? I, it's easier for me to... Hit your quads again one more time. Four weeks out. There you go. Good. Oh, that side leg's nasty. Yeah, it looks fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your side leg. <laughs> Oh yeah, bro. All right, a full shoulder workout. So what I like to do is just kind of warm up the delts. And so what I personally do is I'll do a couple light sets of the rear uh, pec deck for rear delts. And then as you'll see in the next clip, um, just some side machine laterals. And again, all this is is just kind of getting the delts kind of loosened up. Uh, one thing I found is if I, seem like if I warm up my rear delts first, it just seems like all my pressing movements and everything like that seem to feel better. So after doing all of my mobility type stuff, my band work, we just do a couple light sets, again, of just rear pec deck with some side laterals, and then boom, go right into a pressing movement. And one thing that's kind of unique on uh, these dumbbell shoulder presses is we're using, uh, Kind of a, a preacher preacher or a preacher seat so it kind of puts your back to me uh 
it puts your, your lats kind of in a more stabilized position. Um, sometimes though, Travis is like, the guy I'm working out with is really, really tall. So for him, it kind of like he was having to lay back on it. For me, it feels a little bit better as far as stabilizing my back. So again, we're just going through uh, some dumbbell pressing. And again, it's just kind of a preference. You can kind of see a better side angle here. It just seems like it puts me in a more comfortable position as opposed to your typical, you know, shoulder press seated uh, type, you know, bench. So it's just something, give it a shot. If you like it, cool. If you don't, then this is something that I'm just kind of, I do different. Um, after these, we moved on to another pressing movement. And this is just with a, um, I think it's like if you had uh, your seat directly, we're using an incline, um, an incline bench. And if you had the, if, perfectly at 90 degrees, it would just go one notch down. I forget which exact um, degrees that is. So it just puts you in a more comfortable position. Again, I think that feels better than having the seat directly at 90 degrees. Again, it's just another preference on what feels most comfortable for you. So again, this is just another pressing movement uh, using the Smith machine. It's just safe, controlled. I personally like it. Um, went up to uh, 225 on these. After doing the dumbbell presses, I think I got up to 110s. Um, again, it's just kind of different going through a whole entire shoulder workout since I'm so used to doing shoulders after chest on push day. So it's been kind of nice completely being able to go in and, and tax the delt. So moving on, uh, one thing about me, and if anybody has been kind of following me for years, um, delts are a very uh, strong point for me. And I really cater a lot of kind of my delt gains to just doing a lot of lateral, lateral, um, lateral delt type movements. So this is another one that I really enjoy doing. It's just a, a wide grip upright row to focus more on medial delts. I know a lot of people that like to do upright rows and they usually do them close grip, which is more trap focused. So going wide grip is going to be more focused on the medial delts. So then this is, um, Something that I pointed out, I don't know if I've done an update on these. I feel like lateral raises are always something that I've done really well, but I've recently kind of tweaked my form on these to where I have my palms uh, completely back. And I really focus on holding the outside of the dumbbells and really focus on raising up my pinkies at the top of the movement. So that's just kind of a new thing that I've kind of uh, tweaked in my dumbbell lateral raises that to me, I feel like even target my medial delts even better. And this is another thing that I really love doing. I've done these in the past with a, with a D handle, but one thing I noticed was you can kind of apply that same philosophy of palms back and really focusing on raising up your pinkies if you just literally take off the attachment and just hold right under the ball on the cable. So if you never tried these, this is literally something too, I think I literally just made this up the last time or when I was shooting this video, and it felt a lot better than using the D-handle. So this is something that I'll be sticking with in the future. And again, I personally like these behind the back. I just feel like it focuses more on the medial delts as opposed to when you go from the front, I feel like it, you hit a lot more front delt. So um, moving on, some rear delt action. These are, I call these rear delt swings. So you're gonna lean over an incline bench and have your palms back once again. And what I like doing is I'll do 20 kind of like partial reps and then I'll finish with 10 full reps. So three to four sets of these, your rear delts will be on fire. So we, I think this day we supersetted these as well with uh, cable rope uh, face pulls. And I personally like, uh, if you're doing a face pull, I personally feel like your body is better stabilized doing them seated. I know a lot of guys do them standing, but this is just my preference. I feel like it feels better just having your your low back and everything stabilized. You can just focus on the rear delts. So uh, here's Travis doing his, and then here's me doing mine. You can see we just we just chose like a little short little stool thing that we're sitting on. And I just feel like I feel more stabilized and can focus on my rear delts better with these. And again, I, I personally like kind of holding the contraction for like, I, in my head, it's kind of like a one, two count. So just to get a little bit better squeeze there. And then pretty much to finish off our shoulders, we just did a super set with these um, underhand grip, uh, just kind of like a front raise with an easy bar. And then we super of these with some dumbbell, uh, just kind of front raises with your palms facing each other. 
And that was pretty much it, guys. That was pretty much the shoulder workout. Again, it's kind of it's kind of different doing these just shoulder days. I feel like a lot of times what I'll do is I'll literally do more arm volume after the shoulder workout. So if you have a similar split, um, I personally like doing some more arm volume after this. And then that concludes this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy a few other clips um, throughout the rest of this video. See you guys in the next one. Just got this uh, in the mail. Let's see what it is. All right, so one of my buddies, one of my clients, uh, he has a hookup for Under Armour. So I got all these items 50% off. Got a um, thermal, got just like a t-shirt, one of those kind of lightweight ones. And then I love these Under Armour, like the longer ones. I got white and red uh, compression shorts, the longer ones. So. Nice little uh, Under Armour order there. Not bad for a uh, half off, so thanks, Mitch. Speaking of Under Armour, I think I finally found, oops, looks like I'm out of the light there. Finally found a shirt that matches my freaking bright orange New Balance Minimuses. So I got the Under Armour blue shirt with the uh, Under Armour shorts, and then the Under Armour compression tights. And then, boom, my orange, you guys have probably seen these in all my videos, my orange New Balance shoes. So, for once, I'm actually coordinated with these bright orange shoes. Anyways, um, let's get in the kitchen here. We're a little bit brighter. A little bit brighter here. I am uh, on the way to the gym right now. I think it might just be me solo. Gonna hit a back, back day, so. Starting with the uh, conventional deads and all the heavy rowing stuff. Hopefully, uh, we'll see if I get some clips. I might not because I'm solo. So, kind of slacking on getting videos up. So, trying to do some more, probably experimenting just kind of more with this camera and vlogging and stuff. So, it's been kind of interesting. I'm not used to this like front little flip up. My other camera had like a side little camera or a side little lens that you could look through. This one flips up from the top. So, Still getting kind of used to this. You guys remember Matt? Hey guys, I'm sure you missed my commentary <laughs> on, uh, was it the Mr. Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia, that's it. Yeah, the strangulations. And the... Yeah, you missed, you missed the Arnold Classic too recently. I so did, we're gonna have I'll to... be back soon guys. Yeah, we're over here uh, having a nice cold, cold beverage. Yeah, like this one. That I made with... Uh, and this fits in my macro too, which is Macro nice friendly. Environment. Uh -huh. uh, cucumber, zero, zero across the board. cucumber vodka with uh, club soda, and I did a little splash of sparkling lemonade, some lemons, you can and taste some the limes. Sparkle, actually, actually, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them over here. Little cucumber vodka, club soda, sparkling lemonade with some muddled lemons and limes. Oh, they're not retarded. I think they know. No, they don't know. They're yeah. gonna have to see it. 